This is the influence. <laughs> the influence. Fimo, out. <laughs> So hip hop is basically my bread and butter. Be hip hop, hip hop pays for my kicks. Hip hop pays for my bread on my table. You know, through God's grace, I found hip hop. Hip hop found me. Okay, I'm gonna put this very, very bluntly. Um, South Africa. South Africa now is only in its walking stage, hip hop. You getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Back then, like five, six years before this, we were in our crawling stage. Now we were in our walk, walking, in our walking stage. And ten years from now, or five years from now, I feel that 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 hip hop is going to be doing a young Casta Semini around the corner. You get what I'm saying? Um, that's the state of hip hop in South Africa. That's what I feel because we have so much talent in SA, but these people aren't coming out to show us, you know what, this is me, this is me and, yeah, I see one Reason. Alright, if I take Reason, for example, and I take Nas, you get what I'm saying, Reason and Nas, and, and you, you are agent, basically, and you're looking to book one of the two. Because of what Nas brought us and because when we listen to Reason, we hear something from Nas in Reason, people are gonna book Nas over Reason, am I right or am I wrong? Reason needs to bring his own own game. Get what I'm saying? <laughs> Hip hop. What got me into hip hop was basically I said I need to I need to put bread on the table for my for my family, you know. And then when I fell back with, with my beatboxing, um, the guy on on, on, on on Michael Winslow, the guy that, that does Police Academy, um, that guy was my basically my first influence. When I heard that guy in Police Academy, I was like, hey, I want to do what this guy does, you know. But I want to do it much much more better, you know. And yeah, that's that's that that's where that's that's what made me fall in love for, for with hip hop. A reason to eat, and that was my reason to eat was hip hop. And where I see myself in ten years time, I where's the planes here? <laughs> there's no there's no nap, bruh. I'm walking on the moon. <laughs> beyond that, beyond that, you know, um. I'm, I'm working with a really big artist now. Uh, I fly out to Mexico in six days' time. Um, I'm, I represent SA over there. I'm doing shows in Mexico, London, and Spain for the for the next three months, and then I come back to SA. So that's where I see myself in ten years' time. You see, people are telling me about the G, the G5 jets and whatnot. Ah, bruh, not even ten years, bro. Give me two years, and I'll buy this shit. <laughs>